Gina Wakely here and I'm going to share with you what I love about the paint combs. So this is what they look like after you've played with them for a while. Mine are coated in all kinds of paint and gesso, but when you buy them, they look like this. They are transparent in the package against that black backing. And what you really need to know about them is that they're thicker than a regular stencil. So in the package, they look like this. You get them out of the package and they're really thick, really clear, until you do this to them. But look here, if I compare it to a regular stencil, it has to be at least two or three times thicker, and they're rigid so that you can use them as a comb and use them as a scraper and a squeegee, and they'll, ha they'll hold up to all of that pressure that you're putting on them. So come over here and I'm gonna show you some ways I like to use them. One of my favorite ways is just to use them for gessoing. Those of you that know me know that I believe in gesso and gessoing takes a little bit of time and gessoing or in gesso is thicker than regular paint and it's kind of really sticky. And I don't really like to wash it out of a brush. So if you squirt a little gesso on your page and then you use your, the, the flat side of your paint comb, guess what? You have gessoed that page in a matter of two or three swipes. Isn't that, is that not the easiest thing you have ever seen? Seriously. Easy peasy, right? This side I gessoed already, and so it's dry-ish, drier than that side is. And the great thing about the comb side of all of these is that you can get interesting textures and pattern with just a few swipes of the comb. And it, you can make it look like paint, uh, paste paper. If you have been around in, in crafting for a while, you remember what paste paper is? Um, Google that and see it. it. It'll be a treat for you to, to learn about paste paper. It's really cool handmade paper with all kinds of marks in it. So you take the comb version of the of the comb, the teeth version, and I'm just gonna drag it right through that heavy body paint. Because that paint's thick, it's going to hold the texture and hold all those bumps and ridges. And every comb has a different pattern on each side. And so you can get both of the combs. We, we put a design in there in the middle for you so that it's more versatile. And then you have different teeth patterns on all the edges of the comb. So super easy peasy. Let me just show you a couple things in my journal that I've done with the comb. Here I made this background, and if you look closely in this blue field here, you can see that I put blue paint, that sky, and I combed the paint and let it dry. You can even see little tooth marks here from the comb. And it's really great textural, I love the way it looks, and then I just simply drew over that, easy peasy right there. And then on this page here, it's kind of a crazy psychedelic 1980s neon drawing, but you can see I put pink paint here and then I comb through the paint. And then here there's little white flecks. So what that is, is I'll often take that comb and I'll put a little paint down on the craft sheet. I'll dance the teeth into that paint and then I touch the teeth onto my page like this. So you don't have to drag it through paint necessarily. You just have to pop it and you get a great border and texture on your pages. So I hope that's given you some ideas for using paint combs and I can't wait to see what you do with them. Mm -hmm.